Welcome back to Disturbed Reality. Today we will be covering the infamous Guerrero flaying video. Now a lot of you guys requested this video, and once again, as a man of a people, I thought why not do it. But yeah, this video is viewed as one of the more brutal cartel videos available online, and just one of the more brutal gore videos available online. It really is gnarly, it's not worth looking at, and again, I would always say to you guys, do not watch these videos, just listen to weirdos like me talking about them. So yeah, that's your warning. But where do we even start with this one? I guess, you know, first and foremost, we'll try and cover some backstory, but from the research that I've done, the backstory to this video is a little bit conflated. What we do know, the perpetrators in this video are the infamous Los Viagras cartel. They are known as one of the more brutal cartels out there even to the point where they will target civilians and local businesses. So they'll try and extort local businesses, local civilians, and if they don't play ball, they'll be dismembered. And also they'll try and recruit civilians to fight in their wars, and once again, if they do not comply, they will be met with a fateful end. So yeah, the Las Viagras are certainly one of the more brutal cartels out there. Most notably right now, they are engaging in a big war with the CJNG, as well as wars with other cartels, so these guys are major players in Mexico. In regards to the actual video, it actually shows the torture and murder of a father and son, and the backstory behind these two guys is conflated, so the father in the video, or the older victim, is widely known to be a police officer, and the story or the popular story behind this video is that the father was a corrupt police officer and, you know, he obviously messed with the cartel. But to be honest, I'm really not sure how true that is because I can't find anything translated that points to that guy being a police officer. What I did find on Blog Del Narco was that essentially the two victims in the video were a part of a rival cartel or rival criminal organisation called the Guerrero Guards. And I'm not sure whether the victims were once a part of Las Viagras, because the reason I say that, in the video during the interrogation, the older man is referred to as a Chapolin, which in Spanish, I believe, means grasshopper. So essentially he's accusing the older guy of switching sides, switching allegiances. And I did see several people on Reddit and various forums basically say that these guys, the victims, basically gave up information to a rival cartel. Um, so yeah, the whole backstory behind the victims is very conflated. There are so many different sources of information, so I cannot be sure what is true and what isn't. I'm not a Spanish speaker, all I've done is a little bit of research, and that's pretty much the only backstory I can find in regards to this video. At one point in time, I actually did find a transcript of a full interrogation, um, but my dumbass didn't save it and now I can't find it, but from what I remember, there was no mention of the older guy being a police officer, so I'm not sure where that came from. I cannot find that source on any Spanish translated websites, so I'm not sure how true the police officer thing is. I think that's just one of those things that was said, and now it's stuck, but um, who knows, maybe I'm wrong. But if any of you guys do have a full transcript, feel free to comment it in the comments and I'll pin it. Alternatively, if I find the transcript, what I'll do is I'll copy it and put it as a pinned comment so you guys can see it. But let's get into the video. Now this video was uploaded to the internet in the summer of 2018. The video was allegedly filmed in the middle of the hills of a municipality of La Union in the border area of Costa Grande and Tierra Caliente. And again, this is your last warning. Do not search this video up. Do not watch it. But let's get into it. The video starts with both men sitting on the ground, with their hands tied and their mouths gagged. During the start of the video, both men are being interrogated by their captors. And soon after that, the older man is then beaten by what looks like a 2x4 or something similar, like a big wooden stick. And when I say beaten, they are really laying into this guy. And soon after that, the older man, the father, is then decapitated with a knife in front of his son. And the knife to me looks like a pen knife, it's a real small knife. And the most harrowing part of this video, in my opinion, is the son's reaction to seeing his dad get beheaded. It was heartbreaking, you know, he, he was crying, he was wailing, as you would expect, but that's a different sort of cry, I can't explain it into words. 
And yeah, they decapitate the father. Obviously, a lot of blood. It's gnarly. One weird thing, though, um, was that the father really didn't show much resistance to getting beheaded. Maybe he was in shock due to the beating he took previously, and maybe it was just the situation he kind of froze up and accepted his fate. But yeah, they decapitate the father, but little does the son know he's in store for something far worse. So yeah, once they decapitate the father, then they move on to the son. But the son doesn't get decapitated, he gets his chest flayed, a far more prolonged and painful way to die. Just, you know, truly horrendous. So yeah, they basically uh, take knives to the son's chest, and um, they basically hack away the skin, the flesh, uh, from his chest area down to his, um, I guess you would say, navel area or abdomen area. And yeah, they basically remove all of the skin in that area, as well as large chunks of flesh. And they did this with a knife, and all throughout, and all throughout this ordeal, the guy was alive. It looked like he was kind of like drifting in and out of shock. So sometimes he would appear lifeless, and then he would react to what they was doing. So for example, he would cross his arms to kind of protect his chest and stomach area. And um, yeah, I mean, the guy, obviously was in copious amounts of pain while this was going on and throughout a lot of it he was fully conscious so yeah they they remove large quantities of skin and flesh on his chest and torso area and to the point where you can literally see this guy's organs moving you can see his lungs inflate and deflate and things like that uh, truly horrendous and eventually what they do um they, they get a knife and remove his heart from his body. They hold the heart up to the camera. And again, the camera footage is so grainy, but it appears that the heart is still beating. And yeah, they basically end it by stabbing the heart into the lifeless torso of the sun. And um, yeah, that's basically the video. One of the worst cartel videos online. One of the worst gore videos online, full stop in my opinion. The footage is rather grainy, um, you know, filmed on a potato kind of thing, but that's probably for the best, let's be honest about it. And yeah, this is certainly, in my opinion, one of the harder ones to watch. It's right up there with the likes of Funky Town, for example. I found Funky Town a little bit worse, for whatever reason. That one really stuck with me, but this is definitely up there, and a lot of people would say this is worse. So yeah, again, do not watch this video, just listen to weirdos like me talk about them. That's what I would say to you guys. And yeah, um, hopefully you enjoyed this video, if you can enjoy this sort of content. And yeah, always feel free to suggest in the comments uh, video topics. I'll always take on board suggestions from you guys, as I've done so far. And yeah, potentially the next video is going to be about sponsored by Adidas. And that may not mean a lot to some of you guys, but some of you guys will know what I'm talking about. It's basically a similar video to this one. So yeah, I'm considering making that video in the very near future. And there's a whole host of ideas in my mind that I might touch upon in the very near future. Not always just videos talking about uh, gore media, but also maybe uh, lost media, uh, creepy lost media, things like that. These are all ideas that are kind of uh, running through my mind right now. Even, you know, potentially delving into weird internet subcultures and things like that. But yeah, to tell you the truth, this channel is purely experimental and we'll see where it goes. Ultimately, the first month of this channel has been exceptionally great and I wanted to share my gratitude to you guys for supporting. We've basically got 8,000 subscribers in about the space of a month, which is, you know, that was beyond my wildest dream. So, uh, again, I wanted to extend my gratitude to you guys. And eventually, as this channel does progress, I want to also do things in which I can actually um, communicate with you guys and get to know you guys. So maybe in the near future, I might start a bit of live streaming, maybe uh, play some video games and have a talk with you guys, you know, um, something like that. But anyway, I'm rambling on now. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll catch you on the next one.